Hello friends, this video on surface chemistry part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's talk about some of the characteristics of solid catalyst. This is my solid catalyst, nickel, and used in hydrogenation of oil reaction. So we'll talk about the characteristic of solid catalyst. The first is the catalyst remains unchanged at the end of the reaction. We have seen, we have seen, used some catalyst. The catalyst remains unchanged at the end of the reaction. The physical form may change. We have seen that if you are using a bump, a lump catalyst, it may become powdered, but the quantity of my catalyst will be same at the end of reaction, right? Even a small amount of catalyst can create a huge reaction in case of heterogeneous catalyst we have seen, but in case of homogeneous, it is not the same. You have to increase the quantity of catalyst to increase the rate of reaction. But in case of heterogeneous catalyst, since it is adsorption technique, which is uh, taking place here. So even if there is a small amount of catalyst, it will make a huge change in the rate of reaction. Delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S are not impacted because of catalyst. This reaction still holds true. There is no change in this reaction because of the catalyst. This catalyst will not change the equilibrium position. Equilibrium position will be all be same. It won't, uh, since it is increasing the rate of reaction, you may think that since the reaction was here, let's suppose at equilibrium, it may go here at equilibrium. No, right? For example, I have a reaction X plus Y is equal to A plus B at T is equal to zero without catalyst. It was 10 gram and this is 10 gram. This becomes, this is zero and this is zero. T is equal to equilibrium. This was, let's suppose five gram. This is five gram. This is also five, this is five gram. Let's suppose. So with catalyst also at the equilibrium, my position will be same. It will be all be same. It won't be that since I'm using catalyst, the reaction is going fast. At the equilibrium, this becomes four, this becomes four, this becomes six, this becomes six. It won't happen, right? It cannot shift the equilibrium position. Why? Because it will accelerate both forward and backward direction in the same amount. It just accelerates. So it accelerates both forward reaction and backward reaction. Different catalyst has different impact on the reaction. We have seen that. Different catalysts will have different uh, action. For the same reaction, Maybe platinum will have a different impact. Nickel will have a different uh, impact. For example, in this case, if we use platinum, it have a different impact. Nickel will have a different impact, right? So if we talk about the catalyst type, there are three types of catalysts. One is a positive catalyst, negative catalyst, and auto catalyst. So what is a positive catalyst? Positive catalyst is something which increase the rate of reaction. We have seen this nickel catalyst, it increases the rate of reaction. Negative catalyst, for example, I told the same one, nickel in hydrogenation. Negative catalyst is something which decreases rate of reaction. See, there are good examples for this. One is lead tetraethyl. This was used as a negative catalyst in petrol. Right? This is used for anti-knocking agent anti-knocking for internal combustion. So it decreases the rate of reaction of the, uh, decreases the rate of combustion reaction. And with this, you get more mileage, but this is not used nowadays. Earlier it was used, lead tetraethyl, it caused more pollution actually. Other example, ethyl alcohol is added to chloroform to stop the photolytic action. Chloroform actually, if you see the whole ozone layer depletion happens because of chloroform, chloroform easily uh, breaks. It's not stable. So ethyl alcohol is used, it is added to chloroform to make it stable. So if you talk about the chloroform reaction, it is fast on its own. But the moment you add ethyl alcohol, the reaction becomes slow. So there, my ethyl alcohol is a negative catalyst. Uh, one good strange scenario is auto catalyst. See in auto catalyst, what happens is the product, what you get, they act as catalyst. It has a very strange behavior. For example, if I am doing a hydrolysis of ether, right? If I am doing a hydrolysis of ether, so he, in a hydrolysis of ether, in a hydrolysis of ether, my catalyst is what? Acid is catalyst, right? Well, no, now let me show you the reaction for hydrolysis of ether. For example, I have CH3, COO, O, C2H5. I do a hydrolysis. I'll get CH3, COH, and C2H5O. 
in the presence of any acid H plus. Now the good part of this, if you see, this itself is acid, acetic acid. Now my acid is a catalyst. If the product itself is a acid or a catalyst, my rate of reaction will increase. So thus, this kind of reaction initially, these reactions are slow, but gradually it becomes very very fast. Why? Because the product itself which you are getting is a catalyst. It will increase the reaction all the more, all the more, all the more. So it, it becomes very, very fast. It's a very special case autocatalyst, where the product itself are the catalyst. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.